Hey guys, David, Fearless Card Collector, back with another video. With 2024 quickly approaching, I'm hearing a lot of different collectors talking about how they want to dip their toes into the pre-war vintage realm of our hobby. Uh, I'm a pretty recent beginner myself. I've been collecting vintage and pre-war for about a year, year and a half or so now. So I want to make a video just sharing some easy sets for beginners to get into. Uh, they're pretty readily available and pretty affordable. And each of these sets has a good variety of different players, whether it's uh, Hall of Famers for your specific team or some of the big name guys that are in those early Hall of Fame classes. So I picked five, well, four sets and then a type of, type of set that I just kind of want to go through, kind of talk a little bit about the set and uh, what you can expect price-wise. I do want to preface this video by saying I am in no way an expert on any of these sets or players. In the description of this video, I'm going to tag some channels that you should go subscribe to if you don't already. They have uh, really good in-depth knowledge on all these sets and uh, they give a lot of good information, especially if you're brand new into pre-war. So. Uh, the first set I'm going to talk about is the T206. Very common set for uh, pre-war collectors. Uh, you've got uh, some Southern Leaguers and really low tier uh, professional players in this set, all the way up to the original Hall of Fame class guys. And uh, everyone knows about the Onus Wagner card being super rare and super expensive. Uh, I have Fred Clark here. But all sorts of different backs for the different brands of cigarettes and tobacco products. Uh, each one of these has uh, various degrees of rarity as well. Uh, this one's like a middle tier, middle lower tier. But uh, if you're getting, if you're new to this, I would recommend looking at Piedmonts or Sweet Caprils. They're the most affordable and most common to find. Um, like I said. If you want more information on this, definitely check out the channels below. Uh, low tier Hall of Famers like this, you can get for about a hundred bucks or so in this condition, all the way up to uh, a little higher for better condition cards. But uh, your higher tier Hall of Famers are gonna be in the thousands of dollars for those. So uh, collect within your budget. Now, the second set, another tobacco set, this is the T205. They were produced right after the T206s. Uh, again, Fred Clark's my example for this. They've got this shiny gold border that's easily chipped, so keep an eye out for that. Same thing, different backs for the different cigarette and tobacco product brands. But the backs of these, instead of being all the advertisement, you do get a little write-up about the player and some stats. So that's pretty new for baseball cards back then. Now, one thing about these sets, the National League players have this solid colored back with a zoomed-in uh, picture of the head. But the American League uh, cards have the cool ones where they've got the like baseball diamond in the background and then they've got some like props on the corners. Much better looking for the American League ones. But uh, if you've seen like the Christy Mathewson's probably the most popular of this National League style. Uh, again, a little cheaper than the T206s. So if you want a tobacco example in your collection, this might be the way to go. Again, low tier guys like Fred Clark, 100 bucks or so, all the way up to the thousands with your high tier guys. Uh, Next set, we're gonna get into bubblegum cards a little bit. 33 Gaudi, this is my favorite set actually. I just really like the pictures and the colors. No stats on these ones, except for maybe a little bit in the write-ups, but uh, I've got two pirates, Pi Trainer and Paul Wayner for this set. Couple hundred bucks for these in really good condition. They can get all the way up into the thousands. And then you've got guys like Babe Ruth 
and uh, Lou Gehrig in this set that go for thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So uh, pretty wide range. You can get some non-Hall of Famers in this set too, but uh, again, this is a very popular set, so they're pretty readily available in lower grade stuff, uh, if that's where you want to dive into. Uh, another bubblegum card set, 39 Play Ball. Uh, these have a little bit of like bio information for the players on the back, plus a little write up. Uh, but these are black and white images. Kind of look like a larger version of the 48 Bowmans, but um, similar in size to 33 Gaudi, where it's just a big square instead of the little tobacco cards. I've got three pirate examples here. But like even in these mid grade here, mid to low grade, these are only about like a hundred bucks or so. So you can get them raw or in low condition for very affordable price for Hall of Famers. That set does have some big rookies as well with Ted Williams and uh, Joe DiMaggio. So uh, check those out uh, for a cheaper option. And then the last uh, set or sets I'm gonna talk about is these strip cards. The 20s have a lot of weird sized cards and a lot of them are used for like advertising stuff. So I don't know all the history behind these ones yet. I still gotta do a lot of research, but got this pie trainer hand cut strip card, a Paul Wayner one, a Babe Adams one. For strip cards personally, I try to get ones that have like an actual photograph of the player. In the early 20s into the mid 20s, there's a lot with like cartoon animated type pictures of baseball players. So you can get guys like Babe Ruth, Walter Johnson, Ty Cobb, uh, Tris Speaker, just high end Hall of Famers like that for a much more affordable price than if you were to try to get ones with a actual picture. So if you are trying to chase those big name guys and you don't mind the uh, cartoonish strip cards, that might be a good starting point there. Uh, Pre-war is fun to get into. Those are my five uh, recommendations if you're trying to just dip your toes into it. Uh, there is some really cool oddball type stuff. Like this is a ice cream card from Harrington's Ice Cream. It's kind of a selling aid for ice cream back in the 20s. Oxford Confectionery, another caramel candy type company. This one's from 1921. Like there's some of the names you can find in this. Walter Johnson, Eddie Collins, Babe Ruth, Ty Cobb, Rogers Hornsby. So you can get some of the big name guys in these sets here as well but they're not as common to find. Like I said, big advertising uh, to help sell specific brands and such. So that's a famous in bar from 1916. So you can get into stuff into that realm. They're a little harder to find, um, but again, you get a lot of the big name guys in those sets, but uh, check out the description below. I'm going to list the sets again, just for a quick reference. And then I'm also going to link a bunch of other YouTube channels that are going to be able to help you with uh, better information. And they're just good follows anyways. Guys are more than willing to help you out and share their knowledge on all this stuff. And uh, I learn from them all the time. So thank you guys for watching and I will catch you on the next video.